one. Hello everyone and welcome to the ladies, the woman's cave. Wow, I almost ripped, I almost ripped off somebody's name for their show. Oops. <laughs> Oh, the There's another show all together. It's very fun. And then, uh, oh, wait, am I about to do an advertisement for their show? No, continue listening to my show. Don't even go over to that other show. I was going to say the name of it again, but you don't need to know the name because you're not going there. You're staying where I am. All right. So anyway, welcome to the Women's Cave. Oh, that's spelled W-O-M-E-N-S apostrophe cave because, hey, we don't want to step on anybody else's toes. Now that I've done all of that, let me try to get semi-serious. So I'm Wilona and there's a missing Jade and uh, missing Jade is hobbling about. It's, it's real sad, so, but that's okay. She has time to write now. Um, let me see, what am I supposed to talk about? Let me see, remember, remember, remember. Oh, that's what it was. I'm supposed to say we wrote books, me, me, me and the missing Jade. Uh, we wrote books, the literary life guides with pop poetry. We have wrote at the end that I thought divorce was bad and I thought being grown up was easy. If only I were me a memoir in verse, widow's debt, widow's web, in foreign coffee. All of those are audio books. So wherever you get your audio books, you can listen to them. Go figure. There's a few weeks left and, the, and a little bit of summer left. Go hit the beach, listen to our audio books. And if you don't want to listen to them, you can find out everything that your ladies are doing, including, you know, reading the other 11 books. So it makes a total of 17. And w, you can find that at www.andithoughtladies.com. Did I do the sales, like car sales enough? Should I go back and be like, that's cool. Anyway, you're not here to hear about me. You're here to hear about our wonderful guest. Wonderful guest, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, uh, I'm Kristen Ashley. Um, I am a romance novelist and I wanted to be a romance novelist since I was 13 years old and started reading Harlequin Presents. And the dream came true. Um, and little known facts about me, there aren't many because I talk about myself a lot. <laughs> but I can't really start the day unless uh, my cat is fed. Um, she is a princess and she is a diva and, um, and she doesn't get ugly about it, but I just, I just can't do it. I have to go brush my teeth and feed the cat. And that's, and that's, um, that's the deal with me. <laughs> oh, no, I, I understand. Um, my cat wakes me up. It's like, meow, meow, meow. <laughs> and you're like, oh, well, it's time for me to wake up to feed you. No, this does not work this way, but it's still every morning. Until you wake up. I'll let her meow for almost an hour sometimes. Because I'm afraid that. She doesn't wake me up. She lets me sleep. She's she's very nice about that. But, you know, but the, it comes. there comes a time. You know, if I were to wander around the house and do all sorts of things without feeding her, yeah, no. <laughs> that would not be okay. Scratching furniture would commence, and I don't like that. <laughs> Ooh, that's the diva part right there. Mm, yes, ignore see. me, and you will see these claws. <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so you said that you have knew that you wanted to be a romance writer since you were 13. So can we hear about any of those romance books that you tried to write? Maybe when you were like 13, 14 years old? Um, yes, they are not very good. I, I actually still have, I still have them on floppy disk. I would, the, you're way too young, but like the floppy disks that, you know, were really big and actually flopped. Um, so yeah, I would hate to even go back and read them uh, to see what <laughs> that was all about. Yeah, no. <laughs> you should. You could like update it and make it a whole new story. Like I, it would be interesting. I think there are. I think there are computer doctors around somewhere that can take those old discs and they can get get those files off. And may, they're all historical romances. I haven't. I published over eighty romance novels. And I've not published a single historical, but all I wrote back in the day were historical romances because that's what I read. I really loved them. So, so I mean, I since we, we've uh, segued into historical romance and the romances that you wrote, can you tell us a bit about the 80 that you've written and what style, what genre and style do you use now? Um, I write mostly contemporary. I actually jump around because I like to kind of cleanse the palette between books. So I write contemporary romance and that could be anything from suspense to um, uh, a, a mature romance to uh, MC romance, motorcycle club romance. And I also write fantasy and I write erotica and I write paranormal. Okay, so you write everything. 
Uh, yeah, <laughs> except he's historical. Right. Everything but hysterical. That's me. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> oh my goodness. So um, I was going to ask which one was your favorite to write in, but that's okay. I mean, you since you write everything. Yeah, so do you think I, you ever step outside of the romance genre? And if not, can you then just tell us about your writing process? Um, well, I actually kind of have. I'm, uh, I, I'm not really talking about it very much because there's going to be a special surprise for my readers um, at the beginning of next year, like straight off um, after the new year, I'm going to be releasing a book. And it is it's still a romance, but it's a, an entirely new thing for me. I'm uh, getting into a thriller. So it's going to be a romantic thriller or a thriller romance, however you want to take it. Um, there's definitely romance and all that good stuff in it, but there's also um, that kind of scary stuff as well, where they're kind of trying to find a serial killer and um, people are dropping dead all around them. And so, well, not dropping dead, they're being murdered. So um, so it's, I'm really excited about it. It was so fun to write and, um, and I, I just can't wait to see what people think about it oh wow that that is so amazing yeah i'm, I'm looking forward to it like <laughs> uh definitely put us on the email list so that <laughs> let us know when it's out i we'll want to read that one for sure um so can you give us a little bit of advice that you would have for any of the other 13 year old romance or, um, authors out there dreaming of making this uh dream come true what advice would you have um well two of my favorite things to say um are first is right just write, you know, I think people really have trouble just sitting down on the keyboard or with a notebook or however is your process. Um, and it, you know, it doesn't matter if you write 10 words a day or if you write 10,000 words a day, um, just, just write. Um, and the second is, um, it's kind of like, you know, the saying dance like nobody's watching, um, write like nobody's going to read it. Um, read, write what you love. If you love your book, I promise you other people will love it too. So I think people get really stuck in feeling like this is what a romance needs to be, or this is what a thriller needs to be, or this is what, you know, I have to follow these certain rules. Um, and I broke all the rules. I, you know, I, I did things that nobody was doing at the time. And, um, and I, I honestly thought nobody was ever gonna read my books. I had tried to get published for over a decade. I couldn't get an agent, I couldn't get a publisher. And um, because my books were just unusual, they weren't your normal romance novel. But within six months of independently publishing my own work, I was selling tens of thousands of books and I've sold over 5 million books now. So, um, so, and, and so obviously there were readers who wanted to read the books that I liked to read. So if, if it, it's, I, I believe it's the same for every writer. If you have a story in it and your characters or, your, or, or however it comes to you are telling you how to write that story and you try to make it something else because you think that that's what readers are gonna read or that's what publishers are gonna want, stop it. Just do your own thing. I, thank you. I feel so much better about the books that I have coming up because my books are unique. That's awesome. Ooh. Are they unique? I'm not sure. They might be uh, literary unique, which is not necessarily good. Um, so you answered my next question, which was about tell me a little bit about your publishing uh, journey, and you've already answered that. So let's just go on and skip to the end. That last question: um, okay. Can you tell us where we can find these books so we can buy them? <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> they're in digital, they're in print, and they're in audio. Um, so you can you can get them on Barnes and Noble, you can get them Apple, you can get them on Audible, you can get them on Amazon. I have um, a number of books that are traditionally published. You can get them in brick and mortar stores. You can order them from indie bookstores, which is what I try to get people to do so we can keep our indie stores um, running. Um, they can order any book I have, even my independently published books, and they make money off them. So get to those Yay! indie stores. <laughs> um, so where can people find you to follow you so you can get more numbers? <laughs> um, I'm at kristenashley.net. Um, and my handle practically everywhere is Kristen Ashley Books. So I'm Kristen Ashley Books on Instagram and I'm Kristen Ashley Books on Facebook and I'm Kristen Ashley 68 on Twitter.
but I don't really get on Twitter very much. But yeah, I'm around and you'll see pictures of my cat and pictures of the food. And I, I, I'm a big cook. I love cooking and, you know, pictures of, you know, all the mistakes I make. I broke my foot recently. So I get what Jade's going through because it hurts, you know, yes. when you break something, it's not fun. And, and it takes a I'm long time to get over it. That. But Jade immediately yelled, yes. Yeah. <laughs> not, not but yeah, so now we know we're going to be best friends with her because she likes to cook and we love to eat. Yeah. So these are things that we know we're going to be friends with. All right. So everyone, I'm going to wrap us up because you're going to need to know where to find me to buy my book. I'm sorry. I, uh, I am the, the narcissist of it. Of the no, I want to know. Please <laughs> tell me because I need to write it down. <laughs> so you can find out everything that your ladies are doing at www.andithoughtladies.com. And while you're there, you can go to the bottom of the page and you can see the charities that we proudly support and you can support them too. We thank you in advance for giving them uh, that support. Hey, because I can't think of another word. Three supports. I feel like that's just wrong for a writer to do. <laughs> <laughs> if I had written that, I'd be like, oh no, the source is time. Anyway, um, remember that wisdom is all around you if you're open to finding it and accepting it. So peace and love you guys from Will Nona in the missing Jade. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening.